Hello, my name is Paul, and I'm going to show you tips on how to key map for more control of your character. First thing is get a mouse with a thumb button and use the modifier key here as your thumb button on your mouse. That way when you hold your mouse button you get a whole bunch more keystrokes. You can set it up on individual toolbars and your hiring bar. My hiring bar I use for this one here the modifier key plus Q makes him stand still. That way I don't want to go into getting traps or anything. And you hit modifier Q and he comes to you. I use modifier F to automatically send your hireling over to me. And then I use these ones also you don't have to worry about these ones because these are just modes this one I use the modifier and E for him to attack a creature open doors disarm trap boxes because I use a, a high level rogue since I can't disarm traps, I'm a ranger. And to open up chests. And to do that, you go to the options. Go down to the hiring bar. And set it up. You press this. It'll ask you for what keystroke. So you hold the mouse button. The thumb button. And the Q. And F. E for the bar 6 to interact with something and I use R, G, N and M for his mostly for him for open lock and search and I also do it for hiring bar 2 in case you have a pet or something so you have your pet do all that stuff for your hiring so that one I use bar one, uh, hiring bar two slot one, that's this one, that's V, and second one is B. His action bar is Y, modifier plus Y, and it's H, J, K, L. I also switch my regular uh, Q is to uh, toggle between interactables like chest doors etc and that's right here select next interactable I would say that as Q I also select myself as the middle mouse button that's the scroll bar scroll button so I can target myself quicker and my pet I use the tilled button that's the one right beside the one key and for loot all, I use the R button. And what's that on there? Where's the R button? R, loot all. So it's just quicker to open up a chest, loot it, and go on. Or 
right now I'm doing Kyber on Epic Normal just to show you how much control you can get over your character It's so much easier when you have a mouth button because you can summon your hireling. I solo 99% of the time. Let's see if there's any more skeletons around. Ah, scorpions. Okay. So I go up here. Wait for my rogue to show up. He spots danger. So I have my modifier key, my thumb button, and M. So he searches. I click that. I click on the... And attack all those fuckers. I I make him attack right away so he doesn't stand beside me waiting for something to do. I click on the Q and I made him already open up the lever. Now I come over here, click on it, and he's going there. paralyzing arrows I see him I make him attack it he draws the fire from the ones up above and then I just can't do anything right now but you can't get up there now we gotta wait for the marut Treasure back. I always click all the stupid things. You never know, you might get lucky and get that bronze shard. So you wait till you're hiring. He's slow. Make him.
Italians are not the smartest. I need some speed boost for him. It's too slow. He's just not very fast, my harrowing. It should make harrowing is a little faster. Get him to get all the people out. Use my many shots. First time I get a tome in here. I do this every day. Loot all, yes. And kill these guys. I get this here. I always get rid of spellcasters first. Get my rubble. Ooh, small Eberron dragon shard. See, told you, you get some good stuff. goes a lot better when you have a modifier key you don't have to hit T click on fairy fire to get better stuff or healing or Sometimes the hirelings don't get into the fight because they're out of range. 
they have crappy range. First one. Now wait for the second one. Give me with something, but I'm not sure what. Oh, it's my buffs. And then up here, ah, uh, no. See, when you're right here, and you hit Q, you'll see chest in this area here. The word chest. So there's no rare. Get rid of this guy. Come up here. Get rid of this guy. Hit Q, check for it. There's a... See, the rune stone appeared. We'll go right there. Let's see if there's another one down here. Okay. And then go over, click it. Always search for interactables. It's a quicker way of finding switches and levers. And here there's a lever. There's a rune stone over here. Oh, and there's the other one. Who's going over here? So do this one first. Now check, see if there's a chest. No. It'd be a chest right here if the other rare beholder was here. Down there. Click that. And. There you go. Oops. So now buff. Um, put on a ring of feather falling. Tell your hiring to stand still wherever he is. Because you don't want him coming up to you when you're trying to jump down here. This is a pain. Make sure you have a jump spell. A high jump ability. And feather fall. Or you're going to miss. Now you summon your and kill this rare guy. He's easy. Now I just jump. And and then fall down here and jump and leap and away you go some new hireling
and wait till they come in to attack them or else the three guys might show up boss guys is they here chess and junk and uh, something good and um, junk so now I hit one and six get rid of the beholder first then the caster and then the troll Now, don't usually rest, but I lost two levels, and why not? And then get your hireling to rest. Do it again. Summon my little little buffs. Plus, it gives it time for my many shot to replenish. Or go melee. You can't really hurt me much. But you can't knock me down. Sure, you have your voice on, and only 35. Oh, I probably did him. Nah, I did him last night, not in the morning, so I lost some XP. A big deal. Get my treasure. Oh, junk. Loot. And finish. I, ha I solo most of the time. So, having extra keystrokes for your hirelings and your pets is a lot easier. You don't have to keep... And I get crap stuff because... What's this? Plus one garbage. Uh whatever one. I don't care. Give me something. It's all garbage. When you solo, have a good control of your hireling and pet is will help a lot. 
in your soloing attempt. And this is my airship. I'm the only member in my party, in my uh, guild. So I reap the benefits because I got a lot of guild storage to put stuff in. These are my tomes I have so far. Medium Eberron shards, Fragrant Childhood, Lightning Split, Small Eberron shards, tomes. Which I got a look for my small Eberron shard. In there. So I usually sell these for seventy five thousand to one hundred twenty five thousand posted on the auction. And usually people buy out. This is more expensive and the rarest collectible in the game, Lightning Spit Sword. Sell it for three hundred fifty thousand plus. I got this supply chest and my large supply chest. A uh, 50 slots. All stuff I keep in here. Plus my other characters. So I'll put all that in there. I don't look at it right now. Wait a moment. You're going. Wow, it went in. And go over here. Pair. Nothing to sell now. Oops. Sell gems. So, the key map options. Click on key mapping. And you get to this. The modifier key. It's better when you have a thumb button on your mouse. That way you got your other hand to hit whichever one you can do. You can need a modifier F1, F2, F3. I haven't, but if you want more stuff. And then I use modifier space to toggle. Because I like to do this most of the time. It's less headache, glare. All this UI. And then the UI setting. I use uh, show monster overhead hit points. Uh, where is it? Show overhead opponent overhead health. Click this on. You there'll be a red bar above his name, so it's easier to spot in the distance, or if they're hiding, you can see that. I disable mouse soft targeting and enable all the other stuff. That way it doesn't show your hireling or party members. Because it will show up on this here. I have this thing go away. 
if it's not auto hide target UI it helps a lot because when it pops up you look over here when something appears in your you know you tend to see that so you can see what's in the distance when you're searching for whatever actionable in the room so that's key mapping options key mapping and this chain you just hit the key is here and it'll tell you to press something uh, what haven't I used uh, comma or period but I don't use that Then I choose quests and rewards based on class. I turn that off just because I have multiple characters. I have 13 tunes per server, so I should find something good for my characters. Uh. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.